What's up YouTube? Hope everyone's doing awesome, hope you're all staying positive, sharing the good vibes. So this week's video is going to be on e-liquid and TPD explained. Basically, what is a short fill, what is a nicotine shot. We're going to talk you through it all, so stay tuned. Basically, for the past year, we've been under the TPD laws, which is uh, an infrastructure that's introduced by the government to basically regulate the safety on all the nicotine and, uh, and all the ingredients in e-liquid. There's a few other things that it includes, but that's the, the majority of, of what it means. So before this, there was no regulations whatsoever, so you could have any old bloke making some liquid uh, that could have anything that you don't really want to vape in it. Uh, the nicotine levels might have not been exactly accurate or their nicotine might have even just expired and then just decreased in the strength that it actually stated on the bottle. So basically the government side of this just wasn't really safe and something needed to happen uh, just to ensure the safer experience for, for all the vapors and of course anyone who might accidentally get their hands on a bottle of, of liquid accidentally just to prevent any sort of incidents really. So they limited it to 18 milligrams of nicotine strength in a 10 ml bottle and that liquid that contains nicotine should be sold in no larger than a 10 ml bottle. So the only bottles of liquid you'll get that will contain nicotine already in them are like these, like quite small, 10 ml and no higher than 18 milligram. Now the reason for this is because they worked out that 18 milligram strength nicotine in a 10 ml bottle was the most that you could consume accidentally without having any sort of like serious health effects or, or risks. Of course, if someone did manage to, to drink this, I would definitely recommend at least seeking some sort of medical advice. It, it ain't, ain't gonna make you feel too good if you drink 18 milligram nicotine, that's for sure. Three milligram, mm, not too bad. I mean, usually I'll taste test a liquid if I don't want to re-wick or put it on my dripper, just pop a dob on my hand and, and uh, naturally look it to taste it. And that, that's, that's fine. Three milligram is not going to do any harm whatsoever, just licking like a small amount. But that's just because I'm a bit weird. So when vapors learned that you're only going to be able to get nicotine liquid in a little 10 ml bottle, People weren't really too happy. It was all doom and gloom. It was just all blown massively out of proportion, really. These days, there's a workaround. So instead of just having a 10 ml bottle with nicotine in it, what you get instead is a much larger bottle that contains no nicotine. So most commonly, it will be labeled as 60 ml. A 60 ml short fill is what they call it. So that will be a bottle that contains 50 ml of liquid with 10 ml of space to put nicotine in it. Now the nicotine will be a 10 ml bottle of unflavoured liquid that contains 18 mg nicotine. So you'd pop your cap off of your, your big bottle, pop one of these in, uh, in a 60 ml, it's going to make 3 mg. If you got larger, like 100 ml, then you're going to need two bottles, two nic shots, nicotine shots and that's going to make it a 3 mil if you've got 100 mil of liquid. Alternatively, if you want a bit more than 3 milligrams, say you want a 6, then you're going to need two neck shots in with 50 mil of liquid. So that's going to make 70 mil of liquid. But of course, you've got to take into account the fact the more of these neck shots that you add, the more you're going to be diluting your flavour. In addition to the regulations on the nicotine strengths and the bottle sizes, there are some regulations introduced uh, to further enhance the safety of the e-liquids that, uh, that are available for consumption. So all of our e-liquids are currently tested to, uh, to ensure that they actually contain the exact amount of nicotine that's stated, they've got the right amount of PG, the right amount of VG, and that all of the flavourings that are included are all pharmaceutical grade and absolutely safe to vape. Now, this isn't quite law yet, but it's something that we wanted to provide for people 
just to be on the safe side, just in case, you know. And we can't really stress enough the importance of having your liquid all completely legit. I mean, you hear horror stories of, uh, of people buying a bottle of liquid that says it's like three milligram or six milligram, and uh, and it's just not not been mixed quite right. And they've gone to vape it, filled up a tank, and they've just been vaping like all the pure nicotine, where it's 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 just not the level it said it was, and it's not been mixed up properly. And then they've done further tests on that and realised that it was actually like 72 milligram, which is just absolutely insane. It's, um, it's not what the industry needs, not what the vaping industry needs at all. So to sum it up, the regulations are a good thing. We can still vape how we want to. We can still get our big old bottles of liquid, which is absolutely preferable if you uh, use a dripper or sub-ohm tank. Because uh, let me tell you, 10 mil does not last long in anything that produces a decent cloud. So the choice is simple really. Bigger bottle, all you gotta do is pop your neck in it or lots of little bottles definitely cheaper to go this way and a lot more convenient having one big bottle than having tons of these little things lying around and don't get me wrong if you only vape a, a smaller device then a 10 ml bottle is going to be absolutely fine and a lot less faff for you all you have to do is pop the cap off fill up and go but it's not hugely inconvenient to just just pop the lid off pop this cap off and then take your next shot take the cap off of that and squeeze it in give it a good old shake some bottles even have a little ball bearing in to help the shaking up it's a good idea more people should do that and that's it you're good to go so that about wraps it up for this week just a short little explainer video just to make sure that if you don't know about the nicotine, then now you do. So if you like this video and you want to stick around for more explainers, tutorials, or maybe some funny little videos, then be sure to hit the subscribe button. And we're uploading weekly. You can always be sure to get a fun video from us. If you have any comments, pop them in the comment section below. We're always fairly quick to answer those. If you dislike the video, hit the like button. And if you liked it, hit the like button. So have a great weekend, everyone. It's going to be an awesome weekend. Have a good one. Oxford Vapors out.